Hey guys and welcome to Tights TV. Uh, today we're going to be having a preview of Huddersfield Town match. Is it or isn't it? Yeah or no? Thumbs up, thumbs down, we don't know yet. But uh, today what we're going, we're going to be going through, uh, analysing it, is Dale. So Dale, great to have you on, mate. Yeah, mate. You alright, buddy? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, so, yeah. Is it the inevitable? Uh, just been on about it, you know, with previous matches and that. Points, what we've sh should have picked up really, uh, and you look at Reading, what they're doing, you know, the the managing to fight and scrap for for points, we're doing everything apart from that, aren't we, Dale? Yeah, we are, mate. Um, I mean, Peter Brewer's just a. It went. It went. It went surprising. Um, in my opinion, I think Peter Brewer got better players than us. I think they've got a better attack force in Clark Harris, um, in uh, what's his face, um, Imu Squid. I can't remember his name now. Imu played for Derby. I can't remember who scored now for for Peterborough. Um, well, to be fair, both of their players who scored against us were better, better than ours. So, listen, I'm. I'm I'm just waiting for it. It's we're just delaying the inevitable going tomorrow, you know. Um, Jack Marriott, that's it. Marriott. Um, listen, I I I, I think that that Peterborough game had to be with Reading drawing. I mean, four four. Yeah. It came from four one down. Credit to him. Um, I think that game had to be a must win. Mm. It had to be, didn't it? Mm. Um, but you know, we're saying, oh, we, you say, we're all saying, oh, we need to be, we, we, we can beat Peterborough, we can do this, we can do that. I, ain't, I ain't seen a performance this season that's that's told me that we can beat anybody. You I think I mean? when when we when we did it against Middlesbrough and Derby County, um, I thought we we competed well against Middlesbrough. Um, the same against, you know, such as like your Stokes and your QPRs and that and your Fulhams. But then your tendency to sit back, uh, that, sit back too thing, deep. Daniel. That's the thing. You know, we, that's what's sending us down. You know, Prime example, said, Reading, aren't we? When we won out up against Reading and what do we yeah, do for second for half? Full. Well, majority of second half, sit, sat back. Fulham and all. Hmm. Yeah, they've got, yeah, they've got the, qual the quality players that, the, that Fulham have got, but surely... Oh, yeah. There's a bit of professionalism in our players' heads that can say, "Oh, do you know what? We'd actually we're one nil up here against Fulham. Let's actually get, get game to them." Mm. And I said, "And I said to, and I said to you the other week, um, I can't remember what I said now. Anyway, Fulham, Fulham were just that were that were a free hit. Mm. Fulham were a free hit. Um, Red, Reading, <clears throat> excuse me, the Reading game that was just." Awful. That was just awful. We've talked about that. Do you think that? Um, what, I think that for me, what defining point. That was the game. I, I think that was it, wasn't it? Yeah, that that was the game. I mean, I, <coughs> me, me and Dave were, um, me and Dave were at the, the the Cardiff game at home. We sat we sat in Pontian together, me and Dave, oh. and and to be fair, that Cardiff game again. We deserve some out of that, but it was once again the performance, mm. and and that's what's done us this season. It's not, it's not, it's not the quality of the on the pitch. It's the decision making of the manager, the players, on on what the what what they're trying to what they're trying to accomplish, and mm. and it's. I'm 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 fed up of people saying, oh, but efforts there, but effort, but you know, you can have effort. Any you've time at week, it, net, you've got to put ball back at net, haven't you? You know what I mean? And yeah. I, it's like what I was talking to Jacob, mm. uh, uh, young Peter fan Jacob, when I had him on the other week. And I was asking that since you know McCann came in, what difference has he made? And he said, as soon as he came in, McCann, he said, we've had more shots on target, more shots on goal, we seem to be more attacking more. Mm. And to be fair, no disrespect to any Peter fans or anybody you know watching up like that, you look at Peterborough, they're going to be potentially a League One side, and if you know we're going to be playing these next season, and there's also mm. going to be a strong, you know, we're going to be playing Derby Counties next season. You know, 
you look at the strength in the League One, you've got to compete. You, you can't go in there thinking we've got a God given rate, thinking, oh, we're going to we're going to come back up, back up or we're going to get in the playoffs. So there's going to be a, it's, there's a lot of questions to get asked. And like I said, listen, <clears throat> League One in Championship, but there's ten there's ten teams in that league that I would say is better than ours. At least at least ten teams. You've got Charlton, you've got Peterborough. Oh, who can I think I think they can be relegated, I think, in the next couple of games. Yeah. Um you've got be. you've got Derby, who in my opinion deserve to stay up. Yeah, they fought well then this season. You know, they've had transfer embargoes and point deductions, you know. But that that's um, not that's not the that's not that's not the players or Rooney's fault, is it? No, that's above, isn't it? That's above. No, that's, and you that, feel got fans, don't you? You know, it's of course yeah, you do. fans suffer, you, isn't it? I showed you that video. I showed. Well I commented on that on out. that video mm. the other day, and I, and I mentioned you in it. Yeah. And it was and it was that that video at all class fans. touch, wasn't it? It was class bit, touch. What he did. Yeah. From from fans as well waiting yeah. outside at um, ground for mm. coach to come back, mm. clapping them, stuff like that. You won't see. You won't see. And then Wayne Rooney making a nice speech and stuff mm. like that. You won't see Poirash Badge doing that. Mm. Coming away from Huddersfield or stuff like that. You, mm. you won't see that. Mm. I don't think you'd see any fans clapping team because they don't deserve it. Mm. Derby, I'm telling you now, Derby deserved to stay up this season. They mm. deserved it because of they, they'd be mid table. They'd be They're going to be one of the favourites to go up them um, next season. Well, yeah, I'm you now. And you've got you've got Derby, you've got Peterborough, you've got Sunderland, you've got Wednesdays if they stay down. You've got Bolton; they're coming good now. Mm. You've got w Wigan and Rotherham; they're battling for they're they're up, I think. You've got Wickham, you've got Charlton, Oxford, <clears throat> Oxford. I look at it like this: me and League One is that there's more games to play. It's going to be more like a midweek and a, a yeah. you know a weekend. Mm -hmm. But I look at it in League One as if you've got like three tiers in League One. You've got a tier of teams trying to get for that automatic. Yeah. You've got another tier facing to get in playoffs. And then you've yeah. got, I think, the most important tier, in my eyes, is that trying to stop away from relegation. I think and all of us are mid and all of us are like in mid mid tier. I think that, I think that's the tier that we're that we've got to try and to avoid next We've got season. to address it, yeah. Got it needs to be addressed, and it? It needs to be addressed. And it's like you know, on about we you know, addressing stuff and we need to avoid and what you just been on about being a bit you. Is that it's got to be a rebuild job? <clears throat> oh, it's got to be a rebuild it. job because <clears throat> mentality. But if we're playing with this kind of mentality in Via, we're going to be found wanting. Bearing in mm -hmm. mind that four loan players are going to go back to the parent clubs potentially, a couple yeah. of players out of contract. So, whoever's going to come in, or whether you know, everybody's under review, that's what we've been told. But mm -hmm. whatever happens next season, we've got to have a really, really, really good. Pre-season oh, to make yeah, sure that course, we yeah. start. Otherwise, yeah. we're going to be playing. We're playing. We're going to be playing catch up before the ball's even kicked, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, mate. And look at look at the season that we went down under uh, the race. <laughs> mm. it, it took a few seasons. Oh no, no, it was the, um, the 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 playoff the playoff season. Playoffs. You know, we were we were bottom of league one then, mm. weren't we? Mm. And and we had we had way better players than the, than these like mm. that like, that time round. Mm. Imagine what imagine what's going to happen next season if the if if this manager uh, will he stay if this manager stays and he's got and he's got the mindset. You know, to be fair, the, would, if if you were playing now, would you want to stay knowing that everything? I mean, vast majority of fans like now uh, saying that. You know, we don't want this, we don't want that. So, would he want to stay? Would he want to stay? I think, I don't think he would. I don't think he'd want to stay because, no. and if he does, you know, if they do assess it and we say, yeah, we'll give him a, another season, I would what say I would if, him. but what say, you know, first 10, 15 games, we pick up probably two wins or something like that. I mean, it's like we're, we're going through next season yet again. Again, another manager in. They've been readdressing it again halfway through a season. It's like, you know, they know, Powers at Beal, no. Powers will be yeah. at no. I, I can't remember the last loss, 
the last long lasting manager that we've had. I can't, I can't remember. Oh, I, th- what, I think it was Flitcroft, weren't it? Flitcroft. No. Possibly Ecky when he took over a uh, thing, but I think he knew, didn't he? When he took over Johnson, he knew after the uh, promotion side, it, it, you know, he got there and I think he, right on the wall there that he was more or less doing all the CEO job and that because I think it was round about time that Morris Watkins and that were there and were a bit of a, a shack up, weren't we? And I think he yeah. knew and... Look, it, it went where he went, so, you know, he wanted to better his career. I mean, look at him now at Sheffield United, you know, mm. and uh, good point. I mean, it's been it's been read before, hasn't it? You look at the amount of managers we've had from Mireille, we've had Stendhal, Struber, Ishmael, you know, but, uh, Shop, but we're having more managers than we are for a complete season. Mm. I would have liked to see Val Ishmael me ever at least a season. What he did last season, he, he got us very well. Let's, let's have him have a full season or see what he could what what could happen. But obviously, money talks, and he, he yeah, went to West Brom and Nice in the city task, isn't he? So, yeah, it's one of them. So, it, yeah, yeah. get into Huddersfield game, Ben. I mean, they're going, I mean, they're going fantastic, Ben. Huddersfield, um, sitting pretty, aren't they? Well, a couple of wins, and we could be automatic, you know, Nick's second spot. So they're, they're flying high. We've got really playing well. Uh, again, we, we like Luton. How many people would have said at the beginning of the season, Huddersfield and Luton in playoffs? Probably not many. But when you do look at Huddersfield, and I've been watching the last couple of games, there's togetherness for you. They're playing with mm-hmm. confidence. Yeah. They look like they're enjoying football. And, you know, we go there on a Friday night on Sky. <laughs> it's you know I think even if you take Sky to the equation it's still going to be a, they're going to be up for it because they won't, they're not going to take a foot, foot off a of gas oh no. no 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 they're going to keep it's, going one it's the Yorkshire Derby yeah two it's on Sky so mm. the, you know and three they're going for they're going for Premier League again Huddersfield mm. <clears throat> no disrespect but Huddersfield Town are going for Premier League again mm. I've got a mate I've got a mate who, who's an Huddersfield Town fan and he, he just takes piss every week you know what I mean? You know what I, I mean? mean they, they, I mean, <coughs> it shows they as well, you know, under Cowlers and that, because it was Cowlers and that before, wasn't it? Cowler Brothers. And, mm-hmm. you know, they readdressed it. They, and look where they are now. And again, yeah. you look at this, we look at this, the squad, not this, not even the team, the squad, and they, they're utilising it. And yeah. hats off to them, you know, hats off to Ooh. them. Cor- Corbrand's a, a, he's a good manager, mm. you know, and he's overseas. You know what I mean? There's always that little. I said to you last week, in, in our preview last week, there's always that little gem that you'll find from overseas, whether it be a player, manager, whatever. There's always that little gem. We had one in. We had two, in my opinion, in Struber and Ishmael. But look what you know. Look what that. Look what happened. To, I, w- to them. I wonder what would happen then, Dale. Right? If won't have had these get out clauses because Struber had one in. Mm. And then Ishmael did as well. <clears throat> so I wonder mm. what happened if he's got that clause wouldn't have been in. I wonder what would happened then. It have, I wonder if it'd have been different, you know what I mean? Because if you put a get out clause in, you know, you know, big ambitious side with money to spend, oh yeah, it's gonna cost you this. Two million, yeah, not a problem. Struber, mm. same again, you were at Red Bulls. So it'd been interesting if you wouldn't have got a get out clause, mm. you know, would they still that, if, would they stayed a bit longer? I, I think so, mate. Mm. I do I do. Mm. I, I think I think that the board doesn't have that ambition. I think the board what what they need to do is threaten managers. I think I think the, I think the, what they need to do is uh, reach this target. You've got this amount of money. I don't feel we're in a position of it, in a position no. to do like that. We're a manager, we? You know, no. But but listen, you, you, I think that's that's the sort of thing you've got to do with managers. I think you've got you've got this amount of money. Reach this target, or you're out at door. And I think that's what that's what will push him. I don't think anybody entertain us, would be. I mean, look at Warnock, yeah. what he said recently. You know, yeah, I'd have come to Barnsley, I'd have come to well, yeah. I don't. But there you go. What, what think, happens? Think, we don't we don't take it up. I think job were too much even for Warnock. I don't know. I think he did instill some. What can I say? I think he did instill the mentality and a belief in players, and it had been like an arm right shoulder, and he knew what passion, what it meant to the community. Mm-hmm. I think he decided to install that into him. Especially when you've got like someone like a Devaney and an asshole around it. And if he'd have brought in, say, his Blackwell as well, 
I think them two need to be number. No, I think them two need to be main men in dugout next season. Who was that? Devaney, Devaney and Nassel. Really? I, I really, I really do. I, no, I don't. Why, why not? No, you I know. Don't. I think I'd, I'd want Devaney to still be involved. Well, he's I got want, to. He's got to be involved at least. Still, yeah. He's still, I, want, I want to have him as main main tool because. What I wouldn't want to see is happen, and people like probably agree or disagree with this is like a Neil Ref and so Fitz Red, but you can't like sentiment, sentiment, you can't overrule it all the time. You've got to go out there. But I still like to see, I think the class move what Khalid actually made were getting um, Devaney involved from under 23s, that transition to bridge that mm -hmm. gap there. But mm -hmm. it's for them two to be main two. I'd, 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 what I'd have liked to have seen happen, and it won't happen. Is someone experienced coming, right? So it could have been a Warnock, it could have been a Wilder, it could have been a Steve Cooper. Ambitions via it's down to these owners to sell club to manager, right? Mm -hmm. And whether it had been brought in and said, so, right, Martin Devaney, if you want it, learn off at best, learn off, learn off him, and learn off him. Because I'm not being funny at all. Will Devaney really be learning off a player? No. So again, you need for me. And we say it on pitch as well, don't we? And experience, but it's also leaders. And I don't yeah. see that on the bench. I, I I'd watch the game at weekend. I'd, I'd get it to what the big um is number two, player's number two. I can't remember his name. Joe so, for for me, I'd, I'd let them both go. Clean sweep. And I'd the person I'd like to see, and, and I know this won't happen, is to sell it and go for Paul Warner. Not Rotherham, but it won't happen. But won't again, happen, that's yeah. the standards and your ambitions. What do you want to really achieve? Do you want to just go happy to total along at this? Or do you want to say, you know what, right? Clean sweep, this is what we need to do. X, Y, Z. We but need we, we need it. We need a young manager in. Yeah. I think I think we need a young manager in. Loads of energy, loads of passion for the game still. I think we need a, a Wayne Rooney type. I think Wayne Rooney's done. I think Wayne Rooney's one at managers at year. Mm. I, I really do because it's only 20, 21 points that, that got took off a derby that send them down. That's it. Wayne Rooney's one of young managers at year, in my opinion. And I, I, my opinion, I, I would go for Devaney and Assel. The not club, they know what it means for fans. <clears throat> I think that Assel can get defence sorted. I think Devaney, I think he is the been at club now too long for him not to deserve a little bit more of an advanced job in club. Mm. I, th I think, I, I, in my opinion, I'd give it to him. I would. I really would. People watch. Works, people uh, watch on here. Leave your comments below. Do you agree? Disagree? <clears throat> Who would you like to see? Uh, bear in mind, probably still in a job, but if it's under review. Just discussing that because uh, we've got on about managers, what's been achieved under Cowley Brothers when they left from Rusfield and gone to Huddersfield. So going back to Huddersfield game, I've got a table up here. They're on 73 points. Um, I think probably another couple of wins and they've, they've cemented the place in playoffs, but it's that positional change. We've, you know, it's, that, it's got them games in hand, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. It's them games played. Uh, Huddersfield have played 43, Luton have 43, Notts Forest 41. <laughs> Sheffield United 43. So I think fate's going to be on really for such as like, let's have a look. It's good, good out of Coventry really on 62 points. And Sheffield United's on 66. So there's a fair amount there. I think others feel they've just got to carry on playing what we've got to play. Because we know from last season, don't we, is that wherever you finish your playoffs, you're, look, you're going to be looking who you're potentially going to be playing in, you know, next yeah. round kind of thing. So uh, yeah, some tricky ones here. Uh, Millwall, Blackburn, Millersbrick, UPR, Coventry. You know, we're not out in it, but we've got some catching up to do. We're all not the same. Absolutely. Not the same. So, Huddersfield Town, you know, Barnsley, would you make any changes going into the game, Dale, for Barnsley, or would you keep it as is? All the change that I would make, mate, is Calum Britain, but we can't, can we? Yeah, true. Is it? Is it some shockers, really? It's a shame about Jordan Williams because he was, he was starting to come good. He was starting to really impress and get his, play some get of the best his, matches. Get your sen off social media saying, oh, we're all up for it and shit like embarrassing your sen and actually stop embarrassing your front field and start playing football, mate. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. 
because he's a sh- he's a shadow of what he was last season. Yeah, Callum Brit- Callum Britton for me is probably is one is down he's down there in my mm. opinion. Mm. Uh, he's a shadow of him. Then no disrespect, to lad. Because there is a good, fo- we've seen it. There's a good football. Oh, there's a football, yeah. <clears throat> and again, you, you can you can go back again, can't you? Always there to put an arm around shoulder and tell him after a game, you know, you look always yeah. real leader there, you know. And I look at it like this: you look at what uh, Val Schmel did, got out of players, he played to the strengths and not the weaknesses, and he identified it and he implemented it. Well, mm. great as a football, granted sometimes, but it got results and you what it took to grind it out. We had a Zia, we get in a winning position no. and we just like, pff, good, yeah. don't we? Yeah, and, and, and do you know what? Others feel they take, they'll take advantage of that mm. because Ari, they've got, they've got, they've got uh, Fraser Campbell, Jordan Rhodes. Um, Rhodes is danger, always a danger, Rhodes. Ari, Ari Toffolo, who's probably, mm. would have been, who's probably been one of the their top three player at seasons, mm. in my opinion. Mm. Um, they've, they've got Lewis O'Brien. We know about him, don't we? What is yeah. done when he were at Oakwell, well, yeah. Uh, they've got Dwayne, Dwayne Holmes. The, the list goes on and on for, for Huddersfield. Mm. And and that's the thing. They've got, they've, got, they've got, again, youth and experience combining. Fraser Campbell, Jordan Rhodes up top. Whoever they play up top, I don't know who it is. Uh, they've got Lewis O'Brien, who's a young un. You know, Dwayne Holmes, who is a young un. Mm. Harry Toffolo. You know that that makes you all over, isn't it? That mixture, it's that mix. It's mm. a su- it's successful wherever you go. Wherever you go, you've got success when you mix experience, a blend in it, and youth. And and we haven't got. We've only got babies in team, haven't we? Mm. Um, for me. I'd more or less mm. keep it as it is. Like I say, uh, good to see Woodrow come off at bench, gain some game time mm. from his injury. Um, yeah. And even he's, like I said, he's been frustrated. It's been hard not being able to help out cause. Yeah. Uh, Carlton Morris, again, ruining his so-and-so off, fall over pitch, understanding so, what yeah. it means. Uh, Palmer, hands up. And I said it on, you know, after I thought I haven't been his biggest fan, but... I, I I didn't think he wanted to get him took off me. Uh, mm. Get subs off. I think Gomez could have done because I think he was getting bullied off. I think Wolf would have come on. I, I don't rate him. Oh, Gomez. Gomez. I, don't I think he's a good, time. tricky, nippy player. But when it comes to getting muscled off, a bit lightweight. He's too weak. And for me, Palmer, I thought you were having, you know, we're getting stuck in. And like I say, I'm I'm not a Palmer fan. I don't like that. But you've got to call it as it is. And. I, I, you know, for me, I don't think he had a bad game. I thought, apart from Morris, possibly, it was one of them what were actually trying to get dug in because Morris mm. is picking Bassi up when he's in second half and he's injured. He's like, get up, you know, it's like we haven't got time to be playing dead. Get up off, it, off your ass and get, we need, you know, we need a result. So, yeah. limited to what we can do, really, as in changes. Um, is it, I've heard Brad Collins is out for the season. Brad Collins is out, um, yeah, he's out for season. So it's, um, it's Walton in goal. Walton in goal. V to uh, Elick, I think he's going to be out as well for for remainder. Elick. So, mm. like I said, it's <coughs> going to be more as, as is in it, really. To be fair, yeah. So, Vita, Kitchen, uh, Anderson, he again, him again, underperforming, mm. a shadow of what he were last season, Mads Anderson. <laughs> Do you think I said this to someone in Pontian behind me because there were a couple of old fellas and uh, with his grandson or something, and he said Anderson's gone back about two years, and I come out and says, "Do you think that he's missing someone like a Saul Bauer or an Ellicott side him to that bit of reassurance?" He's missing. He's missing. He's missing someone at side, isn't he? Yeah, he's missing that. Missing that. Yeah, that understanding. Because you know, Kitchen and um, and Anderson haven't worked together that much. Mm. Mm. He's, mi- he's missing that partnership with Alec, mm. and also, like you said, he's missing that arm round shoulder with Solbauer. Mm. Um, and and that's again, that's why I said about Bobby Assel. I think he he, I think he can actually sort that out. I think mm. he can actually make a difference in in Mads Anderson's head about his confidence and stuff like that. Because 
you know, he's one of the best defenders we've ever had. Mm. Um, but I think Anderson, it, it's it's he's not he's not he hasn't been awful this season. Oh, no, he hasn't been awful. It's, you just you can you just it, see confidence. You can just see confidence. Confidence. Mm. confidence. See you later. It's shot in confidence. Um, yeah. Then you've got Callum. Then you've got Callum Britton. Like I said, get off the of social media, stop pumping everybody up and staying like that, and then under and then under delivering, under performing, stop, just stop it, just get on with, just get on with your job on a Saturday afternoon, and just perform. Stop moving ball up, run at players like you did last season. You know what I mean? If a, you know, if a shot comes to it, any, um, if a shot comes to him and he's and he drifts it wide or skies it, that that happens. It that's football. You know, and he's not a striker, but he's a he's a professional footballer at the same time. He should be able to finish some chances that he's had this season, hundred percent. But it's it's football, mate. Um, I think. Um, I think you've got to go. Would would you try Styles at right back? No, I, for me is I mean, Styles for me is not midfielder, not midfielder. He don't. His best position for me is left left wing, left wing back, where he can actually mm. do damage and get the ball Listen, in. Listen, I, I hold my hands up. I said play Styles at, at centre mid last season. Get him to centre mid because we needed his energy. But mm. once again, Mowat's gone. Mm. If Mowat would have stayed, Callum Styles would be, in my opinion, he would be 10 times better than he has been this season. Because mm. um, Mowat allowed players to... Advance just free for you know free roam, um, but again midfield it, it's non-existent this season. Mm. Neil, you know it's been I'm, it's been inconsistent, hasn't it? Really, to be fair, yeah. chopping and changing about trying to find a right combination. It's never never really found one. To be fair, there's been people no. in and out. You know, you've had Benson's in and out, Palmer's in and out, Wolf's in and out. It's like we've yeah, had back. Yeah, had one midfielder that's actually made this and said, you know what, this is my spot. And yeah. then one or another play off me. We haven't said that, have we? No, we haven't. Um, Palmer, yeah, well done for playing a couple of few good games this last couple of weeks. He, 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 I think he gets a spot tomorrow. Mm. Um, Styles is a, he's a first team starter. Mm. But d- does he deserve it? That's another hmm. if not bit maybe, and then there's Undermark. Hmm. Oh, listen! If it, if it's his fitness, if it's his confidence, I don't know, but that lad deserves some mate. That hmm. lad deserves first team football. Hmm. I've seen him play for under twenty threes, and he's is is some else. Hmm. He is he's, re- he's really good, hmm. and I know. And I know under twenty threes is a different class. And he's got a physical presence and all, hasn't he? <clears throat> yeah, he's a big lad. He's he's got a bit of pace about him. He's a big lad. Um, I think Gomez. I don't. I don't rate him. I, I'm no disrespect to him. Mm. I don't think. I don't think he's a bouncy football club player. I don't. I don't think he suits his style. Mm. Um. So Palmer, I think. I think you go four three three tomorrow. Palmer, on the mark, Styles in middle. I think I think you've got. I think we play. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot. B- uh, Bassi and Queener. Bassi and Queener. Right, I, I think. I think. Does Bassi deserves? He deserves a spot for his summary perform for all of his main main performances this season. Um. I think you play him a little bit advanced, don't you, um, Bassett? Mm. And and mm. then I, I I'd put Queener in for Ondermark. Mm. Put Ondermark on bench. Um, that little bit of re- electricity in midfield. Um, that little bit of give up and you know that get up and go type of player in a Queener. Um, he's he's unbelievable. He's a great player. Um, but he won't be. He'll be in Championship Storm next season with Watford, I think. Yeah, um, down, yeah, and then you play, you play your, your strike. I think do you play? Question to you: Do you play 
Woodrow and Morris tomorrow for that little bit of extra attacking threat tomorrow. Don't you? Do you play? Do you play wide men? I, I don't. I don't think. I think we've got. To I think. Play. I think he's just going to play at wide men. I, 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 we've got this far at season now. I, I, he's not going to alter it. I think he's just going to stay t- same formation and just try and fit plays in that formation. Mm. With just like four games to go, <clears throat> because I. I I can't see how we would. I mean, even when he makes substitutes, uh, substitutions, trying to change the formation, it's like haphazard. It's you know, you know, we want to win against Reading, and he brings on Adi Beja with 90th minute of strike. And it's like, why don't you bring him on about 20 minutes ago, mate? You know, it's like, I don't know. I don't, I just don't understand the the mentality of that is. Because he even got uh, questioned about it on Radio Sheffield through Andy Giddens saying, surely he needed that win against Shredding and it was via, you know, sh- should you have been going for a win? I'm like, well, you can't go too gun and and everything. I'm like, I'm not going gun or we're not about sending goalkeeper up for every every corner or free kick. Run about actually trying to give them an attacking threat, change it on your tactics, and he'd be like, you want to have any it? Like, mm-hmm. Fine. So, I, I, for me, I'm thinking now he's just going to stick to that formation. Um, I think he'd probably make a couple of changes because I think it's only twice it's happened this season but it's, it's kept same at starting 11 um, would he drop must have dropped would he, would he rest Morris for Woodrow or keep it as is do you know um, what I, 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 I can't I, see him making I, that much I think Woodrow I I'd think... like to see two up top I would like to see two I, I up would. top I'd, I'd, I'd like to see Morris I think it'd be an handful I'd like to see it being an handful, but Bassi, I, I, I can't see him doing I can't see him doing it. Bassi in ten roll. Bassi in ten roll, and then you've got Morris and Woodrow, two number nines, up top, with Bassi behind them. Queena, uh Styles and Palmer in middle. And then what what you I mean, what what formation are we doing here? Four three one two. So then you've got your four in, at back. You've got Vita, Kitchen, um, Anderson, Britton, and then Walton. I don't think that's. It's not. You know, I, I don't think that's a bad team. To be mm. fair. You know, and that again, you've got nothing coming off. At, no disrespect, you've got nothing coming off at bench. You've got no. You game know, changes. you've got game changes off at bench. Mm-hmm. Um, if listen, if they come off at bench and score ninetieth minute winner, I'll hold my hands up and you know and apologise. But that that's that's what we've seen this season. That's the cold hard facts. I um, think for me, I think he's going to stick with same formation, and I would put Wolf instead of Gomez in midfield. Um, Wolf's the shout. Um, but I, I just I, I just can't see him change formation. I, I mean, we've said it all the time, haven't we? Well, why don't you try this? And, but he's stuck on this formation where he wants to play. And what is the four games left? I don't think he's going to deviate from it. He's just going to see it out and see how it goes. But... I think we've got to play. keep that midfield tight tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we need to get we need to be tight. We don't need to give away silly free kicks. We just need to actually match them. But... Mm. That's my call for having Wolf instead of Gomez. I think he's got that bit bit more <laughs> presence than Gomez, but I, well, it's only one would person. You, would we'll find would you keep? Would you? I know. I know he play. I know it might be a little bit expensive, but would you keep Vita for next season? Would you try and give for him? Um, I would. Yeah, I would. If it if it if it ticks all boxes for both parties, I would. Um, hmm. Would he? Or want another to, loan. Because he's only a young lad, isn't he? I think he's at a contract to end the season. I'm sure he's at a contract to end the season at Bayern. So whether else been sorted out, is there an option, you know, at end this loan period? I don't know. But you know, for me, Vita, I'm, I'm, it's, we've always wanted someone that left, and we left it until last last minute kind of thing, didn't we? Then we weren't playing for the first day of the season. Then he has, mm-hmm. I don't know. And when he has come in, he just seemed up for it. He just seemed to enjoy it. He just wants to play football. And mm. I would, yeah, I, I would. But again, depending on financial situation, who, who are you, who you, who you keeping? Ne- who are you keeping next season for you? Who's, Me? Your to- who's your top five? Who are you keeping next season? 
Arcade Morris. Obviously Wolf because he's signed a contract. Mudrow, if possible. If possible. I don't, I know I don't gonna... think Mudrow will go. Yeah, I'd, I'd keep, I'd keep, I'd keep them. I'd keep uh, Morris, Woodrow, Wolf. Obviously, Wolf's got signed a contract, so he's going to stay. Is Colin, this that, is, this, is this, are these players that you're going to work around? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's Wolf, Morris, Woodrow. Defense. I'd like to keep Elliot, but I think he'll go. Mm. For the rest of them, I think it's like... Yeah. You've got to fight for it, haven't you? Yeah. For me, it's like... Who was actually, who was actually wanting to stay out of that lot there? I think Styles, I'd like to keep if he could get back to his player, but he's an ungainly international now, so I think clubs could be sniffing around because I'm on Celtic one in January. Blackburn sniffing around Britain. So if they want him, I think if they come with some money, I think he'd go. But you know, Jordan Williams, I keep by any coming yeah. back from injury. Hundred percent. Um one or other. I mean, if someone coming for Collins, obviously you've got to have Walton there. Um, but apart from that, it for me it's you know, I think it'd be easier to say who, who would go. Mm. You know. If anybody came in with this offer, I mean Apple Army, I gave him off a wage bill. He can go. Mm -hmm. No disrespect no, to him. No disrespect to him, no. But I mean, he's played an handful of games in two years since he's been here. Yeah. There's been nobody really, you know, he hasn't been a player. I mean, Benson, were all a lot of hype and pomp around him when he came in. For me, he's been in and out and he's been injured and what. I don't see now what's, you know, what's going to make me think, yeah, do you know what? We're going to miss him. We haven't seen out on him. Do you say that? Mm -hmm. Uh, for the rest of the players, I think if anybody came in for an offer with him, a suitable offer, and it's like, right, there's got to be someone out there. Because when I watched on, uh, I was trying to think of days now, it's not a Saturday, when I watched on Monday, <coughs> it for me against Peterborough, it's like, always actually wanting out of players to stop here at club. And when you watch on pitch, and after it, when we're applauding fans, you could tell the play players, Morris was standout player. He was actually he knew he was going around clapping everybody. Mm. And I watched such as your Britain and that sounds they were like half hour to clap and going. And I'm like, oh, actually, I want to stay here next season as a player. Me as a fan, front fans watching down, I'm like, these are like gutted. This is, you know, it's certain these players. And if you don't see that as a player, knowing the importance that it is to us as fans in, in paying, I'm like, if you don't want to really want to be here, then go. Because Barnes mm. Football Club will still be a long. Long gone, I've died. It's like 135 year anniversary next season. And if if a player don't want to play or he's upset or he, I'm not getting game time, I don't like that, he's moaning and whinging, I'll go elsewhere. Fine, go elsewhere then. Mm. But I'm just hoping that whatever's in place for next season, whether it be Poyer or another manager that will come in and will do it wisely and not squander the money like we have done it last transfer window. Uh, sorry, transfer window. The uh, August well, not the January one, obviously. It, when players so, came in, so like money. It's yeah, so disheartening. Devante Cole, you don't look same player since you've come back. You know, fit. Uh, Izaka on bench and all like, oh, potentially a good player there. Does it need a different coach here to get the best out and to get a tune out in him? I don't know. Um, Obiela, we know what he's done and money he's squandered on. Benson I, I, again, well, money. I, I, I might sound an idiot, but Obiolari for me, yeah, he's had his injuries, but he hasn't played Neil. And and people again on and no no disrespect to anybody. This is my opinion. I I ain't, I ain't seen enough for Obiolari to say. Actually, no one will because it's worth signing what weren't done by the process. Right. You know this yeah. process that we all follow through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This weren't done by that. This were done by Conway, and the process weren't followed. That's why what a a big eye raiser, and it's like, what's going off here? Right. Okay. So it, it it won't. You know this data analysis thing. It yeah, weren't yeah, done yeah. by that. It were done on a whim, so to say. Right. Okay. So. Bit of desperation type thing. Mm. So yeah. for me. 
money what got spent back in August out of them players up to now, what can you turn around and say has actually said we've made a difference? Apart from Vita for a second half of the season, but he won't play him for half a season. So that says it all for me. Mm. That says yeah. it all for me. So right, I'm I'm gonna go school prediction two one Huddersfield. I'm relegated. Oh mm. mate. Even well, if you draw. I said to you off camera, we can bet relegated without Reading kicking the ball, didn't I? Yeah. Um, so the field are going to want it, aren't they? So. Yeah. And I think away on Sky, quart, is it quarter to eight kickoff, isn't it? Is it quarter yeah. to eight kickoff? Uh, oh, God. To be fair, we haven't done that badly away at Uddersfield. Uh, we had one away for in all season as well. <laughs> Uh, it could be a Millwall. It could be a. It could be a, a Reading. It could be. Oh, I'm gonna go. Oh my god. I think it'll be three one Huddersfield. Three one Huddersfield. That's what. That's what my head's telling me. Yeah. I'm not gonna go with my heart because I'll just sound. No, I forgot with my heart and yeah. So people, what's watching? Thanks for watching. Let us know what uh, your score is going to be. Uh, win, lose, or draw. Score predictions time. Let's get them in. Uh, you Congratulations know, on 7K, by the way. Yeah. Hard work. Uh, cheers, Dale. Uh, hard work. Um, must be doing something right in this poor season at, at the club. <laughs> but uh, it's people, look, people uh, like and subscribing and sharing it all over and wanting to join in because it's done by it, fans and fans, even though it's been a shit season, to be fair, right off season. We're still trying to bring you content, try to be positive, but when there's not much to pick from, we need a bit more meat on bones to get any positiveness. But mm. uh, all being well, it's just right corner, you know, things might be happening, you know, for better. Keep us as fans, a bit of hope, a bit of belief, you know, we never know. <laughs> club's still be here, it's still our club. Definitely. Uh, still for community, it's still for fans. Uh, so yeah, appreciate everyone what's uh, tuned in. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing. Uh, comments below, keep it respectable. One thing left to say, you Reds.